Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be super fun and future videos are gonna be super fun. So what we're gonna do here is we're talking about the top places to live at Lake of the Ozarks. And in a minute, I'm gonna go in the office and I'm gonna pull up some websites, uh, Google Earth, local maps, we'll pull up maybe some real estate stuff, who knows. But we'll go in there and I wanna show you different parts of the lake as different options for relocations or your purchases. And this video is gonna be an overview of the entire area, hopefully helpful for you. And then moving forward, I'm gonna go out to those areas and I'll shoot a video very specifically for each area. So if you're interested in Osage Beach or Camdenton or Sunrise Beach or Village of Four Seasons or whatever, this video will be that overview. Future videos will be very specific. Now, if you're interested in one of those areas, don't wait for the video to come out before you reach out. So along the way, of course, don't wait. Call me, text me, email me. I'd love to do a Zoom call with you. Whatever I can do to help you out with any of these future areas and you want to know more information today, reach out to me. Let me know. I would love to help you. Until then, what we're going to do is jump in the office. I'll pull up some websites. We'll goof around and click around and I will show you the area. And then obviously moving forward, we'll get very specific into those areas. So let's hop in the office. Go check it out. All right, guys. So, hey, back in the office and wanted to click around a few different websites and try to show you a few different things, right? And um, yep, top places to live. So as I navigate Google Earth, right, I will show you different parts of the lake, give you some things to think about. I won't go too in detail with pros and cons and all that kind of stuff, but just a big overview of the area. I also have another map that talks about mile markers, marinas, restaurants. I think that's super helpful. If you guys need it, let me know. And then we'll just take a peek at real estate. Nothing specific, just an overview. We'll zoom in and you can kind of see inventory levels at different locations and things as well. So let's just jump right into it. I'll, I'll shrink myself as always in the corner. Uh, first things first, we have uh, Google Earth. And so let's pinpoint where we are and where the lake is. So map of the United States, we are located in the uh, state of Missouri. So as you scroll in, what you'll realize on one side of the state right here, you have Kansas City. On the other side, you have St. Louis. So you're going to go to the middle. You're going to go down around the S's in Missouri is where you're going to find the lake. So let's zoom on in. When you look at the lake from an aerial perspective, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you can tell that it kind of looks like an ancient Chinese dragon. The head, the neck, the belly, you got some legs down here, and then you got the tail that runs all the way back. So this is the overview, Google Earth satellite image of the lake. And what we know, right, is Bagnol Dam is right up here by Lake Ozark. And then there's another dam all the way back here by Warsaw. So it's dammed on the back, dammed on the front, flooded the Ozark mountain ranges. And that's how you came up with or how they created Lake of the Ozark. So when you look at the lake from an aerial view, I've talked about it obviously a bunch of times in a lot of my videos, the head, neck, belly area of the lake is the most congested. Osage Beach is the heart of Lake of the Ozarks. So that's where the majority of your retail stores are. That's where the hospital is. Their school districts are there. The shoreline is built up with homes and restaurants and all sorts of stuff, right? This is the congestion. So if you're looking to be in the heart of those areas and you need to be close to the scene or retail or again, hospitals or schools or something like that, you're going to want to look in this upper area. Now, there is a big difference between the east side of the lake and the west side of the lake. If you live over here on the back side of the neck of the dragon, you're over in this Lori Sunrise Beach area and you want to get to Osage, there's only a couple of options to cross the lake. You're either driving all the way down and around through Camdenton and back up or you're coming across this, what used to be a toll bridge. So I'll talk about that here in a second as well, but that's where 
I wanted to talk a little bit specifically on location, right? Everything in real estate, whether you're buying your primary, looking for an investment, a vacation, a rental, whatever it is, location is super key and important. The top part of this lake is going to be the heart. It's going to be close to the retail. It's going to be in the congestion. If that's what you're looking for, super cool. If you want to be close to those things, but you not you don't want to be right next to them, then obviously that's where the legs and the tail of the dragon come into play. Okay. So I want to scroll in if I can just a little bit. The main reason you have right here is Highway 54. So Highway 54 runs uh, the east side of the lake. It goes all the way up to Jeff City, goes all the way through Camdenton. Right here you have five, Highway 5 that comes up. It crosses the lake right here and continues through Sunrise Beach into Lori. And then the other one is Highway 5 that splits off and kind of comes down this direction. Hard to see, but those are your main roads that go around the lake. As you can tell just by looking at the satellite image here, there's a lot more roadways. There's a lot more congestion. There's a lot of things happen up I-54 and obviously into Camdenton, which is why, again, I talk about it being the heart of this area. But for, for purposes of top places to live, this Lake Ozark, this, this northernmost part of the lake, Eastern part up by the Bagnell Dam is always a really great option because if you want to be around everything, that's a, a, a nice spot to kind of be. There'll be a lot of traffic, a lot of vibes, a lot of cool things to do. Uh, restaurants and bars, you're close to obviously Osage and the schools, you're close to the hospital, everything is up in here. So that's definitely an area that we're going to go to and we're going to stand on the Bagnell Dam and I'm going to talk about that area, shoot a video. You have some options up on this side of the lake too, this northern piece. So once you cross over the lake, you can hang a left. There's a lot of options for living up in here. There's a lot of condos, a lot of single family homes, a lot of options, right? So that's one area that you might want to look at is this Lake Ozark and Lakeside kind of area. Another one that we would move into is the Village of Four Seasons. That's this peninsula right here. I love this area. I like a lot of things about it because Highway 54 runs down the east side, right? So that brings a lot of traffic and congestion. But if you live over in this village area, you'll have a little bit more peace and tranquility from a roadway congestion standpoint, right? If if you don't have to go this way, you're not going to. You're going to bypass it altogether. So I feel like when you live out here on this kind of peninsula, you actually you're on your own little island in a sense. You're in your own little world and you don't have to go far for a lot of amenities. So Village of Four Seasons, we'll drive over there, we'll hang out, we'll shoot a video, we'll talk more about that area. Obviously, you're making your way into Osage Beach here and, you know, coming into this area, again, huge shopping centers in this area. The hospital is in this area. Tons of restaurants, tons of retail stores, tons of activities and things to do. You're close to the Lake Ozark State Park, so you can go over here to the state park and hang out. There is all and everything that you need is in this Osage Beach area, right? Again, there's the congestion. If you didn't want to be in that area, then I would suggest we look for something different. But right here is that toll bridge that I was talking about. So when they built the toll bridge, they basically said that we're going to charge you to cross this bridge. And then once we've charged enough over time, as soon as the bridge has been paid for, we'll turn the bridge over to the state for maintenance. And so from our understanding in May of 2024, this will no longer be a toll bridge and you can cross it back and forth easily. Where in previous videos, I've talked about the fact that if you lived over on this little peninsula and you had to go into Osage, you'd be paying two or three bucks every time you had to cross this bridge. So super cool that moving forward, that won't be that way. Um, and it might be easy to kind of live, you know, right in this kind of peninsula area. There's a lot of great homes and options, and it would be easy to just kind of cross that bridge and get into the retail stuff that you might need. So food for thought as time goes on, you got your Osage area. And then clearly if you start to move down, we're going to come down to the Camdenton area. So this is an offset little city down here. It's got everything you need from school districts to grocery stores. All your retail stuff is also down in this area, but you're going to start to move into calmer waters down here as well. So 
if you're not looking to be in the congestion of this. And when I talk congestion, yeah, roadway congestion, but also waterway congestion. You are going to need to have some type of capable boat to handle the type of water that's up in this area, especially during, you know, traffic season, peak season, you know, holiday weekends, a lot of that kind of stuff. You either better get out there super early or come in late because during the day you're going to want to have the right type of boat to handle it. However, if you start to move away from those areas and you want to get into a little bit more calmer waters, a little bit slower roadways, you know, the Camdenton area could be a good option as well. And so we'll go to Camdenton, we'll shoot some videos, we'll talk more about that in the future, but that's your Camdenton area. You come out I-5, Highway 5, you can cross this bridge right here. There's no toll here. This is called Hurricane Deck. And so you can cross Hurricane Deck and you can kind of go up into Sunrise Beach area. This is a unique, cool area as well because Sunrise Beach, it touches the neck area of the dragon. So this whole area up here is considered Sunrise Beach, but it also is towards the tail of the dragon. So if you're thinking like, oh, I want a little bit of separation and you're looking for Sunrise Beach properties, just know that some of these properties are gonna bleed into that home search. You gotta make sure you're over on this side if you want a little bit of a calmer space. And then as you move down the lake, the further you go, the calmer it gets, the more remote it gets. So you are going to be further away from gas stations and grocery stores and amenities, and it's going to take you a while if you're down in this area to make your way all the way to Osage. I've talked about it before. If we scroll in a little bit, you come around this corner, and then right here in this cove is where our property is. So we're sitting right here on the end. We got you know, cove views this way, and then you got big water out here. So we are further away. The only way we would go into Osage is if we needed something specific into Osage. Otherwise, we would go up into Sunrise Beach for a grocery store, or we would go down into Camdenton for any other amenities as well. And so that's a high level view of the area of different places to live on the lake. And again, just depending on what you're looking for, we wanna make sure that you're either on the east side, the west side, the north, the south, we're down the tail. We gotta make sure that we kinda of get that right. And then of course, you got a lot of off lake options as well if you're interested in land and property and some elbow space from neighbors. And so what we'll do moving forward again, we're gonna do a video up here in the Lake Ozark area, Village of Four Seasons, Osage Beach. We're gonna come down into Camdenton go up into Sunrise Beach. Of course, we'll come down into my property and talk about the tail of the dragon. And then we'll talk about some off lake stuff moving forward as well. I wanna show you guys this map. If you need something like this, let me know. I think it's super cool. It mile markers out the lake. And so what you can do with this, if we just take away restaurants and marinas for now, sorry, take away restaurants, marinas. This is the mile markers of the lake. So obviously it starts at number one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, all the way down to 31. This point right here is called the four way. So once you hit the four way, the mile markers continue down the leg. Again, my property is between 42 and 43. So we're down in this area, but it goes all the way down the leg till the very end. And then you'll have different mile markers, depending on if you're down in this Camdenton area or if you head up towards Rocky Mount and Gravius Mills kind of area up here as well. So this section up here is a little bit more remote as well. So if you're looking for a little bit, you know, uh, separation, um, this is a great option uh, up in this area and it's still not too far away to get down into Osage. So that's your mile markers. And then if we uncheck the mile markers and let's just put in the restaurants, you can see all these little blue dots are the restaurants and you can tell of course, that at the head, the neck, the belly area, like this is where the majority of all of those lakeside restaurants are. You do have some that are up here uh, in this northern section, but you can come down and if you're, you know, want to explore one or you want to check one out, then cool. Like, hey, what's this one? Oh, it's Doc Knockers. Cool. Let's go check that out. Uh, we can go over here to Dog Days. We can come down here to uh, Shorty Pants. Uh, this is uh, Paradise. Keep going down here. You got Papa Chubby's. You know, once you hit the four way, you have places like Bulldogs, you got Captain Ron's um, kind of come over here to bare bottoms. But as you move further down and again, as you know that I'm down in this area, there's not as many options. Right. Uh, you got Shark Bite, you got Big Dicks, 
Um, there are a few other places further down. It would take a while um, to kind of get down there. So anyway, you can kind of click on these and see what those look like. If you're interested in where you know the marinas are and the public boat ramps, also another good, I guess, link uh, to have so you kind of know, hey, if we're out on the waterways, where are some of the marinas in case we need to fill up? Or hey, if we need to drop in our boat, hey, what's a great spot that we can go and drop it off, put the boat in the water, and it's close and convenient to where our property is. So that's a helpful one. If anybody needs this link, just let me know. I'll send it to you. And then I just wanted to show an overview of properties that are for sale and listed in this area. So just a, a bird's eye view, there are 766 listings. That's just for homes, condominiums, and townhouses. Um, we're not filtering any price points. We're not bedrooms and bathrooms. This is everything that's available in this area. But let's go ahead and just check lakefront. We'll apply that search. So you go from 766 down to 484. So we're gonna scroll in a little bit and I just wanna show you kind of what that overview will look like. So let's not complicate things too much. 395 properties. So what was it? 400 and some 460 something, almost 400 of those are in the head, neck, belly area. So that Lake Ozark, Village of Four Seasons, Osage Beach, all of that stuff in this area. You do have a few up, up and towards the, the upper part of the lake. And then obviously less as you start to travel down the waterways. So I just wanted to show you that to give you a perspective of different areas of the lake that could be of interest to you. Different things that are located around those areas like the retail stores, grocery stores, hospitals, where the heart of everything is. And then obviously from a real estate perspective, depending on your search criteria, you'll see that you'll have a lot of more options maybe up, up in this area of, of Osage Beach and a little few fewer options down the tail of the dragon. So, you know, if we went in here and we messed around with a couple of filters and said, hey, we don't want to look at anything that's above 750, you can tell your search changes a little bit. We don't want to look at anything but single family homes. That changes quite a bit as well, right? So still you can tell that there's options up in this upper part of the lake and then fewer options as you kind of go back down. But just want to show you guys that as a bird's eye perspective, a little bit of different places on the lake and, and options to choose from, maybe some roadways to get in and out of those things. Moving forward, we'll go to some of those specific spots and we'll check them out. Obviously, let me know if you guys need this link. I can send it to you. A little bird's eye perspective of what real estate can look like in the area as well. So a little bit of you know online action for you guys right there. But... You know, again, moving forward, I'm going to get out of the office and kind of go and show you some of that stuff too. We'll go ahead and close this down and we'll wrap up outside here in just a little bit. There you have it, guys. I hope that this was a helpful video to give you the overview of the area in different places to maybe think about. Again, moving forward, we will shoot videos very specifically in these areas to hopefully continue to be helpful. Now, whatever we can do, depending on what your needs are, when you're relocating, what that time frame is, or what area you might be interested in, I say it all the time. I love making these videos, but I love more to help you with your lending or real estate needs. So the number down below, reach out to me, call me, text me, email me. I would love to do a Zoom call with you. Whatever I can do to help you out with your lending and real estate needs, I would love to do that. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.